Hi, my name is Alyssa Pedersen, and today I'll be talking about Leaning In, a student's guide to engaging constructively in social justice content. And this comes from the Journal of Racial Pedagogy, and the authors are Robin D'Angelo and Olsen Sensoy. So this article talks about how in the current school system today, how the focus is placed more on getting the one right answer and making sure you get that right answer for standardized testing, otherwise you are seen as unintelligent. But in fields such as social justice or multicultural youth that take a critical stance, these critical stances often don't lead to a concrete solution, which causes frustration in learning later on, especially because in K-12 learning in the United States, it is common for um, it is common to seek a clear answer instead of one that might not be as clear. And so then often we are memorizing and just trying to focus on getting the right answer instead of actually critically thinking and focusing on learning and in-depth understanding. And so the article had a few different guidelines about how to deal with um, trying to move over from the older system into the newer system to help you think more critically and gain more knowledge. And the guideline that I think I'll have the most problems with would be guideline number four, which is using your reactions as entry points for gaining deeper self-knowledge. So I consider myself a very open person and very open-minded in other situations in the world, but I know that the system is in trouble and that there are issues in our current system today. And so if I acknowledge that I may be part of that issue as far as accepting things in society that shouldn't be accepted or going along with it, then I can realize I'm a part of the problem in my own faults and then help to make the system better. So I need to make sure that I'm working towards making the system better and recognizing those issues that I face. And then one way that I can do this is um, by practicing to see how I can consider the course content and expand how I see the world because I may not be able to see things because of my viewpoint as a white female. I grew up middle class, I'm white, I have that privilege, but then also I'm a woman, so I have that disadvantage of being in a minoritized group. But I also don't get to see the issues of being in a minoritized group such as race or sexual uh, orientation, having that different grouping. So it can make it harder for me to see the different issues that people will face in our society. Also, the article talks about how we need to address how we've been shaped by issues that the author is addressing in articles that we read. So if we were reading an article in class about a poor family and how that affected their upbringing and life for them, then what would it tell me about how I was raised if I was raised middle class? Would it show me that I had privilege? Would it show me that poorer people had a lot more struggles than I would have had to go through? because I didn't go through it, so I can't see it firsthand, but I can read about it and compare it to the experiences that I had. And then we just need to make sure that we're avoiding blind spots in our own knowledge, because not everyone is going to go through every single issue like this, because we all have our different um, minoritized groups that we may be a part of, and we aren't always going to see all the struggles of other groups if we haven't been through it firsthand. Thank you.